Hi, this is Jessica Stern. I am going to be doing my um, care for a wound. I will be um, irrigating, culturing, and repacking uh, the wound. Um, so here we go. Wish me luck. I'm going to be using this uh, hand soap uh, and pretend that I will be using it as my um, hand sanitizer. Okay, so here we go. Good morning, my name's Jessica. I am going to be your nurse this morning or for the day. Could I please have your name and date of birth? Okay, perfect. Would you like to be called Mr. Jones? Okay, Mr. Jones, uh, I am here to change your dressing on your wound. Um, are you having any pain? Um, sorry, my mom's babysitting my son and her phone went off. I apologize. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> continuing. Uh, okay, Mr. Jones, so the doctor has um, said that he would like your dressing changed today. Uh, could you please tell me on a scale of zero uh, to 10, zero being no pain at all and 10 being the worst pain you've ever felt, how you're feeling, how your wound is feeling today? Zero, perfect. Okay, so because Mr. Jones told me that he has a zero pain level, I'm not going to give him any um, analgesic medication. If uh, he were to tell me that he was having pain, I would then check and see, depending on what his pain level was, what the doctor has prescribed for him, and then I would um, get that medication, I would come back in, I would check his name and date of birth again, I would scan, um, and I would give him that um, prescribed medication, and also teach any uh, teaching that goes along with that medication, and then I would wait um, the proper amount of time until that medication started working uh, to help with his pain. Um, and then I would come back, check on him, and when he was feeling less pain or no pain, uh, we would come back and do this procedure. So um, because he said that he is feeling zero pain, we're gonna go ahead and change the bandage. Uh, so in this part, we're going to be changing the bandage and doing his culture, and then we will move on to the uh, sterile dressing. Um, we're a little awkward, so I apologize if anything is out of place. I'm gonna try to move things as needed. Okay. So anyway, I would perform hand hygiene. I would put on some clean gloves that would be coming out of a box. Uh, I only have one pair of clean gloves, so I am going to have to reuse these a couple of times because the other pair ripped. Okay. So I would have the position, the patient positioned, um, so that it was easier for me to take the bandage off with the least amount of discomfort possible. Uh, I would gently pull up the tape and um, hopefully if there was a tail, the bandage would come out uh, with no problem. I stuffed that in there. So because I have touched the bandage, I'm obviously gonna need to put on another pair of clean gloves. So what I would do at this point is I would check uh, the bandage to see if there was any um, drainage. So I would then document any uh, the amount, the smell, the color, uh, any characteristics that I feel uh, are necessary to report back to the doctor. Um, then I would take this bandage and I would put it in a red bag because I don't have a red bag. Um, I'm just gonna use this bag um, and I have to reuse this dressing. So I'm going to just put it in there for now. And then I would take my gloves off, glove to glove, skin to skin. I'm gonna take them off like this just because it's the only pair that I have. Um, to then move to the next part. Okay, so I just took the bandage off. Like I said, I checked. I'm gonna perform hand hygiene once again. And then I am going to uh, now irrigate the wound. So I, because this is sterile on the inside, I am going to carefully open and pull back. Make sure to not reach over. I am then carefully going to, hopefully that wouldn't happen, pull out the syringe. And um, I would have a garbage right next to me to throw away. Um, I am then going to make sure that my normal saline, uh, if it has been opened, 
um, I am going to check the date that it was opened uh, and make sure that according to the hospital policy, it is still okay to use. If it's a brand new bottle, I am going to check the expiration date to make sure that it is also okay to use. Um, so then what I would do is I would open this up. I'm going to fill this with sterile saline. And then I'll move this over here until I need it again. So what I am now going to do is I would have a chucks and I would um, take the chucks and position it under my patient so that it can catch any of the extra uh, sterile saline that runs out of the wound because we would like their bed to stay as dry as possible. So um, say this is their leg, I would have them I would have this under their leg and I would have them positioned um, so that they are comfortable and also so that um, we we only have the saline running in one direction. So um, what I would do at this point is pick up the saline and I say the patient is, we'll turn this way so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, I would go top to bottom in a zigzag motion until the uh, drainage is clear. And I would be done with that, that part. Uh, again, I would take my gloves off um, and I would perform hand hygiene again. And then um, I would, so again, I'm gonna take my gloves off the incorrect way and I will take them off the correct way as soon as I'm actually done with them. Uh, sorry. Um, okay, so I would hand hygiene. <laughs> and um, I have my culture kit as well as my, oh, here, my culture kit as well as my uh, biohazard bag. So now I would put new gloves on again. I would open my culture kit. I'm going to take the top off and then I'm going to uh, take out the cotton tip and I would go from top to bottom at, in a um, circular motion going down the wound all the way down and then I'm going to put it inside trying not to touch any of the side of the culture swab and then I would put that in the bag and I would send it off to the lab. And then I will take these gloves off, throw them in the red bag, move this out of the way. Okay. Um, so now that my patient, I think, okay, I think you should be able to see that. Uh, clean hands again. And now I'm going to move on to the uh, sterile procedure of the dressing. So um, just so you can see what I have, I have my uh, suture removal tray. All of these things have been previously opened. So um, I'm going to try to make it so that they stay. I apologize if you can hear my son in the background. Um, he's not happy. Uh, I would have my AED bandage that would not fall out of the package because it would be brand new and it would be fine. I have my four by fours and I'm just moving these up here for now because again, it's I'm in an awkward situation um, and I have my uh, gloves roll. So the uh, thing that I would do is I would, once again, take my sterile saline. I would pour some into my gauze roll and then I'm done with the saline. And then I will hand hygiene again. Not reaching over my patient because my patient would be in their bed. And then I'm going to move on to putting on my sterile gloves. So I'm gonna open up the package, throw it in the garbage. Oh, and I also have tape for um, when I need to tape um, the bandage on. Um, depending on where you read some places say it's okay to pre-cut your tape. Other places say it's not. Um, I was taught that it was okay, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that quick before I open up my sterile gloves. Um, let me just 
just gonna rip four pieces to tape around the edge. Um, so again, this would be like your hospital policy saying, yes, you can do this with your tape or no, you can't. Um, I was taught that that was okay. So hopefully it's okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we're gonna start, again, I would hand hygiene. I will not be reaching over this area because um, it is now my sterile field. And after I put my sterile gloves on, I'm gonna actually, let me move all these things into position. My ABD gauze would obviously be in both standards. Okay, so okay, hand hygiene. Now, I would take my gloves out of the package. And again, we're going to pretend there's the garbage right next to me or underneath me so that I don't have to worry, and hopefully that wouldn't happen either, uh, so that we wouldn't have to worry about um, contaminating. So I'm going to start with gloving my right hand. So I'm touching the inside of the glove. I'm gonna back away from my sterile field. And then I will grab the cuff of my left glove, which is upside down. So let's try to fix that. Okay, here we go. glove. Okay, now um, I am sterile. I will touch the inside of my package and push it away. So what I'm going to do first is uh, grab my tweezers out of my suture kit. And I am going to take my gauze and I am going to wring it out. Um, some people ring it out prior. I was taught to ring it out now. Um, so what you would do is you would take the end of your gauze. I apologize for my son crying if you can hear that. You're going to twist it and you are going to gently pack the wound. Uh, you don't want it packed too tightly. You also don't want it packed too loosely. Um, so of course it's stuck to my tweezers. So we would start over again <laughs> with this part. Uh, okay. Okay. Again, we would gently pack the wound and you wouldn't touch the bottom of the wound with the tweezers or anything because you don't want to cause any more damage. So um, you're going to leave a little bit of gauze to leave a tail so that the next person that has to do this will have a tail. You could throw this in the garbage. So we'll just pretend that I threw those in the garbage and we can throw those on the floor. Okay, so make sure that our tail is nice. Again, we would dispose of these as necessary. Um, and then we're gonna take our gauze, one, two, and you try to grab them in the center so you have the most control. And then we're gonna take our ADD bandage, place that over top. Um, and then we would now tape the bandage. So at this point, you would tape it down to the skin. Obviously, if you had some skin, and again, it would depend on uh, where you're taping, but you're gonna usually do all four sides. Okay, um, and then I would dispose of my sterile gloves. Oh, goodness. Um, everything would go in a red bag. Hand hygiene. I'm gonna date, um, time, and do my um, signature, and um, that would be the procedure of uh, 
changing your changing the dressing, uh, doing irrigation as well as culturing. And I just realized that I totally forgot to mention because I didn't put it back when I did this recording 15 other times that while you're irrigating, you will be wearing a mask with either a shield or goggles and you will be wearing a gown as to prevent any splashing um, on your body. I don't have a gown. Um, I didn't put this on because I wanted you to be able to hear me. Um, I completely forgot to voice that, so I apologize. Uh, hopefully I won't have to redo this again because I think this is the 20th time. But anyway, uh, that is how you would dress this wound. Thank you. And I also forgot to mention, uh, you would uh, document uh, what you did um, and how it was tolerated by the patient. Hand hygiene again, and then you would ask the patient if they you know, were comfortable, needed anything, um, and that is the end of the procedure.